Okay, what do I want here? Well, I, I guess, guess I'll, I'll have, have a coffee. sandwich. What if we have any milk? Salami. If you can't decide between two choices, why not have them both? Just in two different realities. Because in a split universe, anything is possible. What if your reality isn't the only reality? What if it's constantly dividing and coexisting with other realities at the same time? And how would this make your life different? This is what if. And here's what would happen if the universe split apart. Okay, buckle up and be prepared to have your mind blown. We're entering the universe of quantum theories. Everything here works differently from how it does in our physical world. As I said, here, anything is possible. Ever heard of Schrodinger's cat? The poor feline shares a box with a bit of radioactive material and a Geiger counter. Hypothetically, of course, it's a famous thought experiment, so no animals got hurt. So, Schrodinger's cat. As the radioactive material decays, the Geiger counter goes off and triggers a hammer that breaks a flask of hydrocyanic acid. Once released, the cat will die, but until you open the box and see for yourself, you don't know if the cat is alive or not. That's exactly how quantum particles work. Those are the particles that are so elementary that they can't be divided into any other particles, like electrons or quarks. Before you measure these particles, you don't know what's happening to them inside the box. They exist in all possible states at once, just like Schrodinger's cat is both dead and alive. Scientists call it coherent superposition. It only lasts until you open the box or measure the spin of an electron. Once you do, you reduce the system to a single state. The cat is either dead or alive, and the electron is either up or down. It's that simple. But one quantum theory takes things to another level. The many worlds theory states that when you open the box with Schrodinger's cat and figure out whether it's alive or not, the other possibility doesn't collapse. So if the cat turned out dead for you, for another you in another reality, the cat is alive. The universe split apart. In one reality, you had a coffee, but in the other one, you chose the sandwich. That's the equivalent of what happens on the level of quantum particles. Every time there are multiple possibilities, the universe splits apart. That's what the many worlds theory is all about. It started with the Big Bang when all particles existed in all possible states simultaneously. Then each particle changed to the state it had chosen and the universe branched off into different realities. Since then, every possibility creates a new universe, and all of them are just as real as the one you're in. Our universe was created 13.7 billion years ago, and every nanosecond there's been a countless amount of particles splitting the universe over and over again. That alone would create an astronomical number of universes. In the splitting universe, there would be a timeline where you live your dream life or got a Nobel Prize for breakthrough research. There would be a timeline where you didn't get engaged or did get engaged. A timeline where you died in an accident and a timeline where you survived. A timeline where you weren't born at all. But when the universe you're living in right now splits into two universes, would you remain you in both realities? Uh, I don't know the answer to that, but I can tell you that even if the many worlds theory is right, and there are an unimaginable number of realities constantly branching off, it wouldn't change the life you're living in this universe. Once the universe splits in two, they don't ever overlap. 
There's no way you could travel between the universes or choose the one you like most. They just exist, forever splitting and creating more and more realities. I like to think that the multiverse is a thing, that there are parallel universes out there and that there is a way to access them through wormholes or even black holes. And maybe one day we'll find a way to do it. But as always, that's a story for another What If.